Hey, what's up, movie fans? I recently watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. No, not for the first time. It's a movie that I grew up watching. Absolutely one of my favorite movies. 1989 brought us one of the best team-ups in history. We had Ted Theodore Logan, Bill S. Preston Esquire. That's right, together they are Wild Stallions. Played by Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter. I have a ton of great memories of the Bill and Ted series. Um, Bogus Journey, I'll be doing a review of that next, so check that one out. But they also had a really funny um, animated series that didn't get a fair shake, but it was fun. There's some comic books that got released. It did pretty well. Um, you know, I don't want to say it ripped off Wayne's World because it's, it's different. Um, you know, there's some similarities, but basically this is a bro movie. This is two teenagers that are in high school that are not the most studious people in the whole world, admittedly. Their history teacher knows that they mean well, they're cool guys, and he gives them an opportunity of a lifetime. He needs them to ace their um, history report. Um, this will give them, you know, the most minimal passing grade possible, and they decide, we got to do it. They don't know how they're going to do it, but they got to do it. Well, lucky for them, Rufus, played by George Carlin, rest in peace, one of the greatest minds in history, it comes their way and offers them an opportunity to uh, meet their future selves. They're like, what? What's going on? And they actually meet their future selves. And they see that there's this possibility with this crazy telephone booth, kids these days, what's a telephone booth, to go back in time and find uh, find some adventure. And they absolutely have an excellent adventure. They meet Genghis, uh, Genghis Khan, they meet um, uh, Freud, they meet Socrates, Socrates, Billy the Kid, um, <coughs> Beethoven, and um uh give me a second. Well they meet they, they meet some amazing people. No spoilers. No jo they meet Joan of Arc as well. And they actually and Napoleon and they bring them back for this excellent, crazy, really cool, funny um history report at the end. It's really cool. It's set with classic eighties, you know, feel throughout the entire film it was made in eighty nine. Um it absolutely is a, an adorable film. That's right, I said adorable. It cracks me up. I, I have a Wild Stallion shirt, but I cannot find it. I really wanted to wear it for the review. <coughs> Unfortunately, I can't find it. I'm a little under the weather, as you can probably tell. Uh, normally, I'm a little bit more enthused in my videos, but I promise you it is something that I absolutely enjoy. I haven't watched it numerous times, but it's been several years, probably like 10 years since I've seen it last, and it still holds up. It's still funny. It's still endearing. It still brings me back to my childhood. So if you guys check it out, check out my other reviews. <sighs> Sorry. I have hundreds of other movie reviews on there at London Hawthorne. Hope you check them out. And Bogus Journey will be reviewed very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what your favorite 80s movie is. Let me know what you think of this movie. Have a wonderful day.